One of the most exciting parts of being pregnant is finding out whether you're expecting a little boy or girl, and a gender reveal party is a cool way to get friends and family involved. If you're planning to find out and share the gender of your baby before he or she is born, a popular idea is a gender reveal party surrounded by family, friends, and lots of fun. Our next guest is Jessica Kerher Leitenberg, the co owner of Serendipitous Events in Sioux Falls. And she's here to share some creative party ideas that can make your reveal even more memorable. And once the cat's out of the bag, everyone can have some fun deciding on a name for your little one. Welcome, Jessica. Thank you. So this is exciting, and it really became popular in recent years, actually. Absolutely. Why do you think this is? I think people are just excited to talk about birth, talk about babies, and to share their good news with all of their friends and family. Yeah, and be surprised with everyone. Yeah. It's so exciting. It's one of my favorite things to attend because you're just as excited as they are. Yep. But let's talk about what happens at this gender reveal party. So a gender reveal really is just everybody coming together, sharing in food, fun, friends, family, whoever you want to invite, and then there's this big um, excitement really that comes and we find out if we're having a boy or a girl. So I want to get to different ideas you have for making that surprise happen, but first I want to ask what's the difference between a gender reveal party and a baby shower? So you can combine the two, but typically um, a gender reveal you're just finding out the gender of the baby. A baby shower, we're just celebrating the fact that you're having a baby in general. So, um, And then you can add in like a sip and see later on and see, so that would be after the baby is born, and then we would see the baby. Um, and just get to chat with friends and family, but the baby's actually there at that point. So how new are the sip and see parties? Because I've never heard of that before. Um, they're pretty new and not a lot of people do them. I think we get a lot of times like a new mom is so worried about germs yeah. and things like that. And so especially in the winter, we um, don't see them very often, but they are becoming more and more popular. Okay, so let's go through some different ideas now that you've done and helped plan just to give some people different ideas that they could try. So yeah. we have a couple different pictures to go through. Explain this one. So right here what you're going to see is there's going to be some balloons that pop out of this box. You're gonna, somebody's going to pull that string on the top. The balloons are going to pop out and they're either going to be pink or blue to signify a boy or a girl. Okay. This is um, like a smoke. Uh, you're basically just holding a smoke bomb. Um, or smoke stick and so you would light it and then it pops out pink or blue again to signify. Quick way to find it. Yep. Here you're going to um, cut into a cake and then that cake is going to, when you cut into it, you're going to slice it, hold it up and see pink or blue. I see that one a lot I think. Yeah, you yeah. see cakes a lot. They're very simple. This is just a black box. Um, you're going to pull a string, out it's going to pop confetti and balloons. Pink or blue? Yep. <laughs> and then a smoke bomb, which is really neat. Um, I love how they're standing there together. They don't see, you know, they might wonder, oh my gosh, what do I see? What do I see? And then all of a sudden the smoke rises up and they see pink here. So have you ever been at a gender reveal party, either that you were planning or just attending, where it was a fail? Where something went wrong? <laughs> Where you couldn't even figure my, out. <laughs> my lovely stepdad, it wasn't a fail, but my lovely stepdad offered to make like, uh, you know what a poke cake is? So you make a cake and then you poke holes in it. Yeah. Then you put like the jello filling in it. Mm -hmm. Well, he did that for us, which was phenomenal. So he knew before anybody else, my mom or anybody, and we're very, very close family. So he brings, they're in the kitchen, it was super hot. And the cake, I think, must just not have cooled long enough or the or the Cool Whip that he put on top didn't set long or was yeah. out too long. And it was just like a puddly mess. I should have oh, sent a picture no. of that because it was just like a puddle mess. But actually, it still worked okay. We cut into it and opened it and, and got to, and got to see that it was a girl. But um, yeah, that was kind of funny for us personally. I haven't been at any that have flopped, though. Okay, well, good. That I can think of. I mean, it's a, it's a story that you'll remember right. forever, though. So at Absolutely. least you get to share that and remember that yep. from it. Absolutely. So let's talk about when it comes to planning this gender reveal party now. What yep. are some things that you have to consider? Um, just your guest list. For sure, you need to know your guest list. You want to make sure that people are included or not left out, um, but also have like a concrete idea just because you don't have to invite everyone to everything. And you might invite um, one group to your gender reveal. That same group is probably going to come to your baby shower if you do one, and then you probably wouldn't do a sip and see, but maybe you would. Mm -hmm. And so you just want to make sure that 
you have the right path of who you want there. And then um, from there, you need your invitations and you need to think about your food um, and your beverages. And then, of course, if you're doing a gender reveal, you got to think about this big fun surprise and make sure that it works so you don't have that flop. Right. So when it comes to food, you were telling me a baby shower, a lot of people will do themes. Yep. So you were saying, like, talk about it, and then it's like a taco bar. Yes. But for gender reveal... You're really trying to decide if it's a boy or girl and so what that's you your think. Theme. Right. So how can you incorporate that into food? So pink cotton candy, as you talked about earlier, which was super fun. Um, cotton candy and um, just even any pink or blue foods that you can find. Even some people just do like a bee theme. Um, so they would just use yellow or something green and then from there we would get our pink or blue. Keep it neutral. Yep. So you're not kind of leaning toward Boy or girl. Yeah, yep. Or what Absolutely. you hope it to be, maybe. Or what, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Hope without saying you want it to right. be. Right. Yeah. So when it comes to, you mentioned, figure out your invitations, who you're going to invite. As a rule of thumb, I mean, who do you normally invite to these things? I feel like here in the Midwest, a lot of times what we see um, would be like for your gender reveal, you're going to have more of your close knit friends, family. Um, People in your circle, your small circle. And then your other circle would be maybe more your baby shower, like your bigger distance. And it doesn't have to be. It just really is about the person um, for us, the client, and what you want and who you really want there. Um, we want to make sure that you always feel comfortable with who you have there. So. And should I bring a gift if I'm coming to a gender reveal party? I, I personally don't think gifts are necessary at gender reveal parties, but in your invitation, you'll probably be given a semi-clear idea. If it says on the bottom of your invitation, registered at Target or wherever they may be registered, then you're going to know a gift may be expected. I think, though, most people don't expect a gift at a gender reveal. Okay, so kind of sticking to that baby shower is when you'll get yep. the gift. Yep. All right, well, thank you so much, Jessica, thank for all the you. tips. Absolutely, thank you.